Our daily life would be hard to imagine without cooling systems and devices like refrigerators and air conditioner. But how do they work when it's unusual that heat goes from a colder body to a warmer one? Cooling systems have two main parts. The first part has a lower temperature than the environment and its function is to take heat from specific objects or systems. The second part has a higher temperature than the environment and its function is to release the taken energy. Through both parts flows the same cooling medium, a so-called refrigerant, which has suitable cooling properties. But how does the same refrigerant get cold on one side and hot on the other side? Thermodynamical systems have three important parameters, temperature, pressure and volume. The change of one of those three parameters affects the other ones. A typical cooling machine has four main parts, the compressor, the condenser, the expansion valve and the evaporator. Cold refrigerant from the evaporator in form of saturated or wet steam enters the compressor inside which it gets compressed to the state of overheated steam which is also shown on the graph. After that the compressor releases the steam into the condenser. In its way through the condenser the hot steam releases heat to the environment and condenses completely changing its state to liquid. The energy released here is partly caused by the downcooling of the steam and mainly by the phase transition from gas to liquid. After the condenser, the now liquid refrigerant goes through the expansion well that causes significant pressure decrease, which further results in a sudden drop in temperature. Now the cold liquid refrigerant enters the evaporator because its temperature is lower than the environment temperature, it takes energy in form of heat from its environment, which again results in a phase transition of the refrigerant that evaporates into gas and so cools down the cooling chamber. This cycle further repeats itself as long as the cooling takes place. This was one of the most widely used cooling cycles in which the refrigerant undergoes phase transition. Different types exist as well. So, if you like the video, leave a like and don't forget to subscribe for more content on this channel. Have a nice day!